Hi, it's Mike at Phase 1 DJ Store. Got a product I'd like to show you today. We've done some videos on this already. Um, this is going to be all about the Pioneer DJ MT1. If you're looking for a full on demo, we were lucky enough to have Rob Anderson visit the shop from Pioneer about two weeks ago and he gave us a full on demo of the unit before it was even released. There's a link that's going to pop up on the screen now that you can click and that will take you through to that video on our YouTube channel. It's an absolute brilliant video. Uh, Rob came all the way up from London to give us a full walkthrough of all the features on the DJM T1. Now, stock has arrived at the shop, so we've got stock of the unit. We're going to put it on demo in the shop, so we thought it might be a nice idea to show you what it actually comes with. So this video is going to be about me showing you what comes in the box, so what a DGM T1 comes with, and I'm going to try and install it to my computer as well. And I'm going to give you a bit of a step through, walk, walk through of how we managed to do that. We might cut the video if I get a little bit stuck, it's very experimental, a bit daring this actually. Um, I don't like normally doing things without having at least a little bit of rehearsal. The most I've done so far is lift it out of the box. So, let me show you. You get the mixer, obviously, DGM T1, also in the box, right? And this is probably what a lot of people don't realise, it comes with, obviously you can see I've been inside the box, comes with power cables, comes with a USB cable to connect the computer, right? Comes with a big fat instruction book which always frightens the life out of me, right? Let's have a look. We've got Tractor Scratch Duo 2 installation disc, Pioneer Edition, right? We've got software driver for the mixer, right? We've got Control discs, time coded control discs, tractor control discs. We've got a mountain of instruction books. And also, again, because this item can be used with the time code, they've given us some time code vinyls as well. Right? I'm not going to be demonstrating this with time code vinyls, but the unit comes with time code vinyls. Let's see if we've got a knife here one second. So this, this mixer offers quite a lot. We know that this will control using time codes, CDs or vinyls. Right, we're going to get this hooked up. Let's have a look in here, let's have a look at these. So there you go, tractor scratch control vinyls. In black. Right, we're not going to be using them today, we're going to use some time codes. So what my challenge is for this video is, let's see We've had the expert from Pioneer, we've had Rob Anderson come up to show us it and he got it working. I'm going to connect this to my MacBook and see if I can get this working without too much pain and too much reading. Uh, don't forget, if you're looking for a full on demo, because I've never played around with this unit yet, if you're looking for a full on demo, click the link to the full on demo by Rob Anderson from Pioneer here at Phase 1 who gives a fantastic demonstration of how this unit works. I am going to quickly have a look at seeing where we start with this. Step number one, install tractor to the computer. Wish me luck. So far, I'll tell you what I've done. I've installed the tractor disc, went to the, the tractor service centre, registered, which they needed uh, email address, usual passwords and things like that. Then we up I updated the software, right? Again, seemed to be quite painless. 
Uh, next thing I installed was the um, Pioneer disc. That seems to have installed all right. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take it over and get it connected. So far, it's been a pretty painless exercise. Uh, and I ain't very good with technology. I think once I've got things working, I'm fine. It's getting things working, and I think this is where most people fall off. Uh, that's because we don't like reading instructions, do we? Okay, so we're going to try and get it hooked up. Right, so I've managed to get it working. It's all good. I've had a little bit of a play around with it. Do you know what I've decided to do? I'm going to take it home for the weekend and see how we get on. All right? So I'm going to take this home over the weekend. In fact, I've got a party to go and do as well. So I'm going to go and take this with me. I've noticed with this unit, we can use it with the time codes. Right? We could plug C, um, turntables in as well. Right? So we could use the time code vinyls. Right? But what I have also noticed, you can use this as a standalone controller. And I think that's possibly how I'm going to use it. Because I'm not a scratch DJ, and I think the time code is very much for the scratch type DJ. Uh, and obviously with the vinyls, definitely, you know, for the scratch type DJ. Um, this, I'm going to use it as a standalone controller. I like to play a bit of house music and stuff like that, it's more my style. And I think this is going to be perfect for it, using the track software. It's built like a tank, and that's what I like. I like the buttons that I can give them a good, good whack and get into it. So I'm going to take this home for the weekend, and I'm going to let you know how I'll come on. And I'm going to let you know whether I love it or not. We shall see. Okay, took it home for the weekend. Do I like it? I love it, right? Didn't use it with the time codes. I think it'd be brilliant with the time codes. I just use it as a standalone controller to mix some house music. And one, we, we went to a party and we had so much fun with this bit of kit. Absolutely blown away with it. Why I like it, built like a tank, right? I feel like I can give it some, some hammer, right? The buttons, everything about it is just absolutely rock solid. Because it's been built around the idea of being a scratch controller, right? It is built like a tank. Other reasons I like it is, yeah, I can plug some time codes into it, not a problem, right? I can plug any line in, it's an analog mixer, so hey presto, any of my old bits of kit that I want to bring in every now and again, let's get some uh, turntables going and do some old school stuff. Yeah, we can do that as well. It's laid out properly, it sounds fantastic, I just like it. A couple of things I'm going to go through, right? Let's put the other video camera on, let's have a look, let's see if we can get that recorded. Right. Okay, we've got a track queued up, we've got a play button. Very, very easy to take a sample, right? Press the sample button over here, and if I want to take a sample, and let's say we're going to take a four big sample, right? It's there, it's done. If I want to play it, and that is looped, right? So, I can double that beat up. So I've got my sample going. I've got my track playing. Really, really like that. I like the fact that it's dead easy to delete. Just shift button and hold. I want to take another sample. There you are, taking it. All using Tractor 2, those that are the same Tractor 2, yeah, we know it can do this. But what I like about this is, it's just where it's at on the, on the mixer. Looping. So turning the sample off, got a nice four beat loop going there. It just works. We can shorten the loop. Dead easy. Right, Q points. Right, going to here, got some Q points. Because we've got it quantized and in snap mode, the Q points just work. I can't go all the time. I've got my sample still playing. Stop that sample. I can have so much fun 
completely mad. Right, I haven't even gone into the effects section on it. The effects section again just works, we know it works because it's tractor. Right, tractor scratch duo on here, this is what it comes with. Do I like it? I love it. As a standalone controller, I think it works as well. I think the fact that, you know, I turned up at this party the other day, I took that, I took that, and we hooked it into my mate's PA system. It just worked. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my new favourite piece of kit. Pioneer DJM T1 controller, analog mixer, microphone parts on it, headphones, sound quality, everything laid out, built like a tank. We've got the effects going on as well, which I didn't go through. But I think I just wanted to do a little bit of insight in a video on that. Um, it's endless, the fun you can have with that. Really, really impressed. Pioneer DJM T1 comes with Tractor Scratch Duo, comes with time coded vinyls, comes with time coded CDs, and it just works as a controller on its own. It's brilliant. I love it. It's Mike at Phase 1. Want any more information? Click the link. <laughs>